Hello, this is Sergio with GJD 3D, and I am going to show you in this video how uh, extruded square shank uh, definition works for Grasshopper. Uh, I got Rhino 5 running already over here. Let me bring in Grasshopper here uh, into the screen. Uh, and let me open the definition. Open document. So now I have that loaded right here. And here are all my settings. And here you can already start to see what's going on. You know, first of all, uh, we can pick our finger size, you know, our ring size. So we can come over here and uh, choose, you know, where, you know, what size ring we want to create. So let's, let's make a size six, uh, for example. Then I can choose, uh, you know, the thickness, you know, just how far I want to extrude. The, the actual shape and then we have the options if we actually if we do want this solid part or if we just want a blank uh, finger cutter or if we want just the surface so or just the lines so you can choose what exactly it is you want to see in this case I do want a solid so I've selected like leave it like that so uh, let me put in a Let's put it over here, six millimeters, with check mark. So we got six. Now notice over here, start angle and end angle, and they're both at 60. And that is referring to where this uh, portion is. So in this case, I can now move this here to wherever I want. So if I want it straight, I can bring it back this way, or if I want less or more. So you choose where you, you can put it. So I'll put that one at 45, for example. And then I can bring that one to 45. Also, notice the end here, start and end, 45, 45. Uh, now we have an even uh, shape over here. And uh, now up, up or down on the crown. So that's how high you want to make the top. You can make it as high or as low. For example, you could bring it down here. And then we can raise the center arc up and then do something like that. Very nice and very easy, you know. Or you can keep it straight and then raise it as high as you need. For example, we could bring it in to create a small rectangular area for like a princess cut uh, stone. So we could bring in the angle down this way to like 15 and 15. Uh, it looks like it's too narrow, maybe let's try 16, something like this. Now we have a rectangular area there, we can add, we can put in a, a princess cut stone there maybe, something like that. I mean, it, uh, and then here we can decide how thick we want to make the, the ring, so, you know, it's up to you really big, you know, really small. So you can change it there as you desire. And then uh, notice that right here in the corner, it's, uh, it's been radiused. Uh, you can you can choose there the angle, either no radius or, you know, you bring up the radius up or down. So it's a very simple definition, but it makes a very, you know, interesting, uh, shape really quick and easy and uh, in the end you get to the side if you want to bake only the 2d curves just the, the, the lines or if you want to bake the solid in this case i, I want to bake the solid so i'm going to uh, right click bake i'm going to go to shank my shank layer and uh, click ok you know and uh, i can close this definition now And move grasshopper out of the way there. And there is my uh, little solid piece that I can now add a stone, uh, put you know, stones on the shank here on the side, or I can modify it. I could trim it, cut it, do whatever I want to do to proceed.